Hello, hello, mom and dad meet world. So today we are going to show you what this uh, really cool PC looks like in the daylight with some actual commentary on things we've noticed since we unboxed it. Um, just some small minor hardware things that we think are important. So starting with the front, you can see the fans, they're super cool. On the top here, there is a removable screen that you can clean off for dust. So keep your computer clean from dust, wear and tear. Hey, and just to clarify too, we are doing a little bit of a more deeper dive into this $699 uh, gaming computer purchased on Amazon. Basically, was it worth it for this uh, Core i5, 13th gen Core i5 with the um, NVIDIA 4060 graphics, which you see right here. So uh, we shall see, but we're gonna get a deeper dive into it as April will continue on explaining. So when we unbox this thing, Ignore the blue tape, that's just a serial ID. We don't want to advertise that on the video here. Um, there was a sticker over all of these ports. And when we pulled that off, it's a dust sticker, but it did leave behind, I don't know if you can see this here. Uh, it did leave behind a sticky residue. I will probably use a cleaning wipe and try and get that off, maybe some alcohol um, to make sure I don't drip anything into the ports. But uh, it's kind of annoying because it will over time attract dust. So that was kind of a, a bummer. Of these four USB uh, 3.0 ports, this one right here does not appear to be working. Um, this is for a mouse right here, this little dongle, and uh, it works in every other port in this configuration but that one. So the conclusion we drew was that that does have a bad US, uh, USB A port. It did come with antennas right here that we did have to install, but uh, that's pretty neat. It does have built in wireless, and then you can see below it you've got all the audio hookups, inputs, outputs. The Ethernet. Ethernet jack does work. We've had it hooked up by Ethernet the whole time we've been testing it. So you've got this HDMI right here built in on the motherboard along with these two USB 2.0 ports, I believe, because they're not blue. Correct. So two here, two more up here. And then you've got a very old school, which is very hard to believe, but that is a PS2 style port for a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, that's PS2 style right there. And down, then down here, here, we have you've a got Display port. Display port, another display port, two HDMI right in the middle. You got your really high quality power supply down here at the bottom. Uh, it does have an on off switch separate from the, um, the power, very easy to access, which is very handy. Before we go to the inside, we gotta look at the, the front. So the front here, as you saw towards the beginning, uh, you've got the label right there, SkyTech Gaming. And then you've also got the fans right here. They put a nice mesh fan. Mesh grill right here. And on the bottom, it is also mesh with a removable grill for cleaning. So this grill right here slides, slides right out to be cleaned. So you can make sure that your power supply stays dust free as well. Because it's critical to make sure that your power supply and all your components get cleaned from time to time as dust does build up in electronics pretty quickly. So the top, as we kind of talked about, two USB 3.0 ports, a microphone port, a headphone port, a standard USB 2.0 port. And I'll, one little thing to say about the standard USB 2.0 port right here, this was supposed to be, and it did show this as USB-C Gen 2 in the picture, 100% um, was not. So uh, for us, that's currently not a deal breaker, but it is something we're debating. Um, LED lights and reset lights right here separate from the main uh, power supply. Yeah, we're debating that also because it does cost uh, an extra money, uh, or it does cost a little bit of extra money to add a separate port right here. Not only that, but it does also uh, take away one of your expansion ports. So while we had the case open, we actually looked up the motherboard. We actually went on Google, did a search. It brought us to ASRock's website, which here it is right here. And we get a little bit closer look as to what we're looking for. So that is what is circled in red. That is the connector right there. And a friend of ours, Chris, had actually told us, hey, this is what you need to get. So this is the connector. All it is is just an expansion slot. It doesn't actually use a PCIe expansion card that we will be adding to this computer. So we're gonna actually unscrew these two thumb screws right here on this uh, tempered glass screen protector. We're gonna give you guys a view in the case. A couple people mentioned online that some of the ports, they'd used hot glue to secure them to the motherboard and it frustrated them. Um, I looked at that myself and said, yes, people are correct in stating that. So, oh, hold on, I gotta just take these all the way out, sorry. 
forgot they're not a half through, they're all the way out. So they're just a thumb screw right here. Uh, not only, uh, but I think they mentioned that they used a hot glue in the fans and the lights, so we'll see about that. So I didn't see a lot of hot glue when I looked in here when I was looking at wiring harnesses and cables, but I did notice it down here at the very bottom, specifically on this plug, you can see that it has got hot glue connecting it here. Um, what I will take note of is that this plug right here is not a clip-on plug. Um, it seems to go to the power supply or something on the other side of the main board. Uh, could even be to the hard drives, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear to have a clip. So they could have hot glued that in order to keep it from coming loose and shipping or rattling loose in gameplay with like loudspeakers nearby. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to pop that off with, you know, just a tiny little bit of a small flathead or something. But uh, for anybody who's worried about just damaging things and it's not got a real steady hand if they were swapping components, that could, I see, easily frustrate the wrong person. Uh, for me, not a big deal. I can understand the, the need to make sure that as things bounce in shipping, that it doesn't come loose. But whoever put that on our, on our tech tips, uh, thank you for that. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, we do have, obviously, an expansion port here. Yep, you've got your PCIe expansion right here. Uh, you've got another header here for USB right there. Uh, you've got SATA ports right here in case you do want to expand drives. That right there is for an M.2 SSD. One thing that I did find that was a little annoying is this computer did not come with a bag of screws. And when we wanted to put an spare NVMe hard drive in, we don't have the screw to screw it down. So now I'm going to have to go match that standoff screw and it appears to be proprietary to this case as I've went through several of my other screws and it didn't match any of my other standoffs. So uh, that is a note to self if you're trying to expand this system. So the cool thing is this is indeed a NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Uh, from what it says, it is a 4060. Over there, right behind it, uh, you can kind of see there the SSD. You can see it's got a one terabyte MSI. It is an NVMe M.2, it looks like, and they, they too, you can actually see there is a screw in there that holds that together, just like how there is one down here, except that's, that's the actual screw to keep the SSD in place. Up here, you've got the RAM. It looks like two eight gigabyte sticks. It says T-Force. So that is T-Force memory. From what it says, I have not yet checked it says the specs. That Vulcan it Z be. on the front of it. Um, and they do have a, a pretty good solid heat sink over the over the should be DDR4, but I've seen other people's specs with DDR5, so we're gonna pop one out. Here, let me and get two hands in here. So I thought we'd pop the bottom one out. Vulcan or Vulcan's T Force 8 gig DDR4 3200. So this is indeed DDR4. We're gonna slide this one back. All right, what else are we seeing here? Uh, you got your CMOS battery for just date and time. Easy access if that ever dies on you. Over time they do. If you ever notice your computer is not holding time, like the Windows time date stamp, a lot of time it's just that little watch battery right there. These fans right here, they're all um, uh, LED. They're all light up fans, um, three on the front. Uh, one back here and then another one right here over top of this heat sink. This is a beefy, beefy heat sink for this CPU right there. And then you can actually see the motherboard. This is an ASRock B760M CD4 motherboard. You can see that right there. So they, it looks like they are using really, really good quality parts between this gigabyte NVIDIA 4060 RTX, the MSI, um, the MSI one terabyte SSD, the memory with the heatsink, and then also down here, if you take a look, this is a gold, 80 plus gold, Helios, 650 watt power supply. That looks to be very darn good. That is right here. Another observation I made when I was thinking about upgrading the NVMe was we were looking at, we had um, a one terabyte SSD drive that's currently mounted on a rubber system that just locks into our cur current gaming system or the old gaming system my son was using. When we went to remove it and put it in here. These mount posts, um, they're, they're just holes. There's no thread here. 
So they must have some kind of a proprietary rubber grommet that you're supposed to install to be able to lock an SSD cage on here. Uh, unlike my other gaming case where these were actually a small thread screw that my rubber grommets locked into so that I could slide my SSDs in. So just a little bit different hardware configuration for expansions, some things you need to think about um, if this isn't gonna be plug and play, use as is. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. We got two more expansion slots right here. I'm not 100% sure if this expansion slot will even be usable because of how close it is um, to the video card right here. So that only leaves one expansion card right here. And so if we want to put in that uh, USB-C, um, you know, and those, those ports, um, those cards are a little bit on the pricey side. So just think about that when you are purchasing a new computer, I would think something like that would be standard and you know not to see the ps2 style or to see all these usb2 ports you would want to definitely see some usb-c ports in here let alone usb-c gen 2 because those ports have been out for quite a while or at least the very least you'd want to see them up here right here as promised in their in their photo so but that is it as far as getting a little bit of a tour on this Skytech Gaming We are going to throw this tempered, tempered glass case back on here. It does install really nice and smooth. I will give them credit for that. Uh, barely any pressure. It goes right in. I'll get this one if you want to grab the other one. They do have uh, very easy to access thumb screws, which is nice. And this is our makeshift Lazy Susan right here. We didn't build this, but it's quite nice to be able to just put your product on. Pardon the shift, I'm holding this with one hand and it is getting quite heavy. But here it is right there, a beautiful Skytech gaming computer. I mean, not too bad. They are using pretty good high quality components um, that we can see. Just uh, take a note, USB-C um, is not there but pretty darn good components in general. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. And until next time, bye for now. Thanks for watching.